Mabuhay from the beautiful city of Manila. I'm back with for the channel Fragrance RX and today I'll be unboxing these fragrances that I bought in this quarantine period. So this will be the part 2 of my quarantine fragrance haul. So wanna find out what fragrances are inside of these packages? Stay tuned! So without further ado, let's start first with this package right here. This is not actually a package. This is 1 million by Paco Rabanne. Now this is the 200 milliliter bottle. I got this for a sale, 50% off. So I got this for about 2,600 pesos, roughly about 50 US dollars. So I got it for a steel price, very steel price. But look at the package. It's very, it's beaten up. Very, very beaten up. <laughs> But it's okay, I don't care about the package as long as as long as the bottle and the juice are all intact, I don't have any problems. Just look at this guys. There. So, without further ado, let's open this package. There you go. It's really beaten up guys. <laughs> Just look at this. Very beaten up, but it's okay. Alright. So, wow, guys, this is a very big, very big gold bar. Wow, there you have it. I have here a 2012. This is a 2012 1 million, and I don't want to run out of juice of this fragrance already because this is somehow a vintage batch already. I can't find any vintage batch or 2012 and older batch of this 1 million. So, I'm really saving up the juice, as you can see. The juice level is roughly about 20 ml already, just 20 ml, and so I bought this 200 milliliter. And comparing the size, guys, this one is a very, very humongous bottle, as you can see right here. 200 milliliter versus versus the 100 milliliter. So first we have here Paco Rabanne's one million. Now let's open this bad boy right here second package so I bought this from perfumes of Dubai if you want to check out their list of fragrances for sale I'll put their links down below make sure to check them out here it is there we go it's still bubble wrap oh I think we have here samples and my name right there Wedso all right so let's open this one with my handy dandy knife So this is Club Intense. There. Club Intense by Pandora. Pandora Sense. Right here. Club Intense by Pandora Sense. And it has this seal right there. Seal of authenticity. Now this is apparently a clone of Diorum Intense. So when I've known that this fragrance is a clone of Diorum Intense, I immediately bought this fragrance right here. I got this for about 1,000 pesos, roughly about 20 US dollars. Very cheap price comparing with this fragrance right here. Now this is a 2012 batch of the Aroma Intense and it's more potent than the batches that we have right now. So without further ado, let's open this Pandora Club Intense. Alright. You'll be the first one to see this, guys. There. The box. The bottle inside. It's not that sturdy because it shakes. It's not that secure. And this is the bottle. Club Intense. Club Intense. Club Dinui. No, it's not Club Dinui Intense. It's Club Intense. And when we compare these two fragrances, they, they're somehow similar. But the juice color is not obviously there they have the same somehow same rectangular bottle but this one is this one is larger and thinner compared with the Dior Om Intense and the cap let's see the sprayer I'm curious about the sprayer all right so it's it comes with this chrome sprayer right here not like the Dior Om Intense that we have right now so that's for the first two packages 
Now, let's move on to the main attraction of this video. This humongous box right here. Alright, this big box right here. Now, it says still fragile. Because we will find out what fragrances are inside this very big box right here. It was shipped overseas. Alright, without further ado, let's open this package with my handy dandy knife. They made sure to pack it, pack it really well. Alright. And what's inside of this box? You'll be the first one to see. There you go. There you go. Oops. Let's remove this first. Alright. Just look at that, guys. All of my orders are here. There. So let's look at them one by one. Starting off with this fragrance. Ooh, what's this? Hmm, it's wrapped in paper. Hmm. What's this? What's this? Alright, we have here the first one. This Jumpal Gautier Popeye. Now the the seller put a cap, which is really good because the pack this bottle might be sprayed accidentally while in transit. So first we have here Popeye. Next, what's this? Oh, interesting. Interesting. Just look at this packaging. Careful. Be very careful. Oh, look at this, guys. Avant Garde by the House of Lan Van. Alright. Next, we have here. Oh, another one similar to the, to the second bottle. What's this one? Alright. Alright. Oh, interesting. It's another Avant Garde by the House of Lan Van. Alright, so I'll put it here first. Let's smell these fragrances later on. Next one. What's this? Alright. So what's this? Okay, there's nothing inside. And it's wrapped in paper. What could be this fragrance? This is... Another Popeye by the house of Jean Paul Gaultier. So I have two Popeyes already. Actually, I, I don't have one. Not two. I have three. This is my personal bottle of Popeye. I'm running out of juice of this Popeye already. As you can see from the juice level. And <laughs> so I bought this two, two back bottles of Jean Paul Gaultier Popeye. So I'll put it here first. Actually, my avant-garde, <laughs> I bought two backup bottles of avant-garde because I have here my personal bottle of avant-garde right there. So I don't have not one, not two, but three <laughs> avant-gardes already by the house of Lon Von. That's how much I love this avant-garde. Let's move on to this fragrance. Oh, what's this? This is wrapped in... Wrap in bubble wrap, and this one is ooh, JX the man, right there. JX the man. So apparently, this is a clone, or no, not a clone, because this fragrance came out first, then the Dior Om, Dior Om Intense, right here. So we'll see later on if these two fragrances smell the same. So I'll open this fragrance already. Actually, Wait, where is the other bottle? Because I ordered two of these fragrances and here is the other bottle. So, because I got it for a very cheap price. I got this for about 10 pounds, roughly about 600 pesos each. Very cheap fragrances and I believe the, the company already shut down and this is becoming very hard to find already. So, if I were you, I'll get this while you still can. This GX demand because you can't find this anymore. As the time goes by, you won't be you'll be having a hard time acquiring these two fragrances. So I'll be opening just one package right here. 
Very nice. There you have it. And you'll be the first one to see what's inside. Very, very cool looking box right there. <laughs> and here we go. JX the man. It looks like washing machine. <laughs> there you have it. JX the man. So later on, we'll smell this fragrance. Now next, we have here. Ooh, another one wrapped in a bubble wrap. What could this be? What could this fragrance be? And this one is... Oh, I think you can see it already. This one, Jumpol Gautier Andre. So now I have here Superman. Oh, wait. So now I have here Superman, this Andre, and this Popeye right here. So I've, I've completed the trifecta already. The old fresh trifecta of Jumpol Gautier. By the way, I also don't have only one, not two. But I have three Jump All Gautier Superman backup bottles because I really love this. Oh, the Old Fresh. The Old Fresh version of Le Mal from the house of Jump All Gautier. I really love the Old Fresh line. And this is another one. Same juice. Apparently same juice in, in a different bottle. So this one is Andre. Jump All Gautier Old Fresh. The Andre version. And next... We have here, oh, it comes in a very, a tin can. So let's open this package. What could this fragrance be? Be careful when opening your package. All right, I think you know this already. Oh, 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 be careful. I just said be careful. <laughs> All right. Oh, it kind of leaked. Oh, it smells good. And I'm happy because the tin can is not deformed. Because guys, oh, we have a we have a few dent right here, but it's only minimal. By the way, don't open these tin cans with a can opener, please, guys. Don't open with a can opener because I've I've been seeing people in Facebook opening their their tin cans with a can opener. Guys, don't. You can you can open this fragrance, the bottle, the tin can under under the tin can. All right. So this is Andre version of Eau Fresh Le Mal. Now this one is a gift. I think this is the gift. Yes, this is the gift of my special girl. My birthday gift. Belated birthday gift from my special girl. And this one is... Wait. It's still... It's still packed. Well, where's my handy dandy knife? Let's open this one. There you have it. Ooh, what's this fragrance? It's still wrapped in bubble wrap. Oh well. Oh wow. Guys, this one is Zara Black. And apparently this is the last stock that I have right here. It is sold out already and luckily I was able. She was able to buy it for me. This Zara. Oh, wait. All right. And, I, and she got it for about 9 pounds. Very, very cheap fragrance. And apparently, this is a clone of the trifecta of this Popeye, Superman, and Andre version. So, let's now open this Zara Black. Again, thank you so much for giving me this bottle right here. By the way, her name is Lovely. <laughs> Lovely Treasure. So, I'll, I'll definitely treasure this Zara Black. Because this is her, her gift to me. Belated birthday gift. Alright. Let's open this one. Ooh. Interesting. Zara Black, guys. Look at that. Very, very gorgeous design. And when you open this one, be careful. Alright. Guys. Zara Black. Wow. Sarah Black, right there. So let's give this first, and later on we'll smell this fragrance. Right, let's keep it here. And last but not the least, the very big package we have here. 
very big package and we'll be opening it with my handy dandy knife. And it's none other than Prada Lom. I've been wanting to have a Prada Lom bottle. And guys, I finally found it. I finally have it. And it's a tester bottle. Oh, alright. So it's also bubble wrap inside by the seller. Alright, so we have here Prada Lom. Right there. Ooh, Prada Lom. Alright. So, guys, I've now unboxed these fragrances and let's try to smell these two fra these fragrances. I I will give my first impressions later on. So, stay tuned. Let's go now and smell these fragrances that I've just unboxed. So, starting off with this 1,200,000ml, let's just see if there's a difference, a massive difference between the 2012 and the 2019 version. So, first, I'll be starting off with the 2012 version. There. And the 2019. I believe this is a 2019 version. Nothing came out on the first spray. Nothing came out on the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Alright, seventh. Seventh spray. Alright. And let's smell these two fragrances. Starting off with the 2012. Ooh. Very, very sweet bubble gummy vibe. Oh, really smells good, guys. 20 to 2019. Alright. There's not much of a difference between these two fragrances. Yeah, it will. The 2019, the recent batches, still smells the same with the 2012. But again, that's just my initial impression. I don't know about the longevity or the sillage or the projection, whether or not they're the same. I still have to do a full review and full comparison between these two fragrances. I'll make a comparison video between this 2012 and 2019 soon. Alright, but my first in my initial impression, they smell the same, guys. 2012 and 2019 version of 1 million. Next, we have here this club. Club Intense. Now, I'm pretty much familiar with the smell of Dioram Intense. And let's see if this is a good clone of Dioram Intense. I'll spray it here on my brain paper. Right here. Nothing came out in the first. Second spray. Alright. Wow. Alright. This one is definitely a clone of Dioram Intense. But... I've detected some minute difference between this, the, between this Club Intense and Diorum Intense. I'll be spraying this Diorum Intense. And while we're waiting for them to settle, I'll also spray this JX the Man right here. Nothing came out in the first, second. All right, second spray, third spray of JX the Man. Alcohol. <laughs> Alcohol blast. Okay, so let's wait for this GX Man to settle. Let's start off first with this Club Intense and Dioram Intense. Alright. Guys, I can't tell the difference between these two fragrances. In the initial spray, of course, there's there will be a major difference or slight difference. You can appreciate the differences at the initial spray. But once it settles, wow, I can't tell the difference. This is the Dior Om Intense. This is the Club Intense. Guys, I can't tell which is which. If I give it to you and I interchange these two papers, you might not be able to tell the difference as well. Wow, Pandora, Pandora really amazed me. Guys, this fragrance house, Pandora Fragrances, Pandora Scents, they are really good at their craft. Guys, believe me, my tobacco vanille, Charuto Tobacco Vanille by Pandora Scents, really smells close with the tobacco vanille of Tom Ford. And guys, this fragrance right here, I can't tell the difference between these two fragrances. Guys, this 
Club Intense really smells the same with this Diorum Intense. But still, I will have to do a full comparison video, full wearing of this Club Intense to see its performance, longevity, sillage, and we will compare it with this Diorum Intense. So watch out for my full review of Club Intense right here by Pandora. But for my first, my initial impressions, guys, they smell the same, these two fragrances. So let's now see the JX The Man. Alright, so this JX The Man is somehow different with the Diorum Intense. I can appreciate the iris in this fragrance, but it's more of the floral. Yes, it's a lipsticky iris, but it doesn't share. It's not 100% identical with Diorum Intense. So guys, after about a few minutes, I can already appreciate that Diorum Intense vibe in this JX Demand. But you will have to wait about 5 minutes before you can appreciate that Diorum Intense vibe. Unlike this Club Intense right here, which is right off the bat, you can smell the Dior Homme Intense vibe right away. So, guys, by the way, this is the original. I keep, in, keep on emphasizing it because you might you might say that this is a clone of Dior Homme Intense, but no. This fragrance came out first. This JX Demand came out before Dior Homme Intense. So, this is the original rather than the Dior Homme Intense. And between these two, unfortunately, this Club Intense by Pandora Scents smells more similar than this JX Demand. Let's now move on to this two bad boys right here. Avant-Garde by the house of Lon Van. So these two backup bottles, I got this fragrance for these two fragrances for a very cheap price, roughly about just 3,000 pesos or 60 US dollars for the two bottles already. I got it for a package deal for a bundle price. So I, I think you know what this avant-garde smells like. So, which one is, which one has the lesser amount of juice? This one, I'll be spraying this avant-garde right here. So they say that this is a clone or a good alternative to La Nuit de Long by Yves Saint Laurent. And I definitely agree, guys. This fragrance has this very sweet, nutty cardamom blast which smells pretty similar with Lanoui de Lom. perfect date scent guys Ooh, guys I really really love the scent of this fragrance that's why I bought multiple backup bottles of avant-garde you'll be having a hard time finding this avant-garde right here so if you still can while you still can guys buy avant-garde by the house of Lon Von definitely worth checking out all right, so let's move on to these two bad boys right here, which I got from the, the very big box. Popeye and Andre. Now, I'll remove this first. All right. So, these three bottles right here, apparently, they are the same juice in three different bottle designs right here, which is part of the O Fresh line of Le Mal. A flanker of the original Le Mal, which was released in 1995. So, let's spray this Popeye first. No, I'll spray it here on my left hand because I really am dying to smell this again. Alright, Popeye and Andre. There you go, Andre. And while we're waiting for these two fragrances to subside, Let's open this Zara Black because apparently, guys, this is also a clone of the O Fresh line of Le Mal of the Superman, Popeye, and Andre version. Redolescent Steven from Redolescence reviewed this fragrance and he said he mentioned that this fragrance really smelled similar with the O Fresh versions of Le Mal. So let's see if it does smell pretty similar with the O Fresh versions of Le Mal. Okay, I'll spray it here on my left forearm. Nothing came out on the first, nothing on the second. There you go. Third is the charm. Third time's the charm. All right. Ooh, all right. Let's start first with this one, the Popeye. Okay, I'll, I'll spray the Superman as well because... 
I just want to. So I'm pretty much covered up with the O Fresh version of Lemal. <laughs> this is my scent of the day already. All right. So let's start first with the Popeye. Oh, guys! Wow, smells really fresh. Oh, fresh! It has this minty bubble gummy vibe. Not that sweet. Just the right amount of sweetness, which makes this O Fresh a summer version of the Limal line. Okay, Andre. Guys, similar, very similar with the with the Popeye. Superman. They are they are all the same guys. Popeye. All right. Andre. Just the same. Superman. Also the same. Guys, the trifecta is three bottles, three different bottle designs, but they all just have one juice. And let's now move on to the Zara Black. Alright, so this Zara Black also has this bubble, sweet bubble gummy vibe. Yes, it has a resemblance with the trifecta that I was talking about. Yeah, it shares some resemblance but not 100% identical. More like 85-90% to identical with the Popeye, Superman, and Andre versions of Limal. And I think the only issue with this Zara Black is the performance because, well, we all know that Zara is really good at cloning fragrances. But the only difference, the only problem with their fragrances is that it doesn't last long. Their fragrances doesn't last long that much. So I will still have to do a full review, full wearing of this Zara Black. Again, thank you so much, lovely. Thank you so much for giving me this bottle right here as my present, birthday gift present. And guys, last but not the least, I've been wanting to have this fragrance ever since, guys. And finally, I have it. Prada Lom by the house of Prada. So let's spray it here on my brain paper. There you go. And I'll also be spraying this Dior Om O for Men for comparison because they say that these two smells the same. There. Alright, so let's now smell this Prada Lom. Okay, so it has this iris clean soapy vibe which is perfectly, perfectly worn in the office, in the school, and also in the hospital setting. It's not a very offensive scent, it's a very safe scent. A little bit powderish as well. So it's a clean, soapy, powderish type, clean type of iris. Now let's go now to the O for men. Alright, so I can I can smell somehow a similar vibe between these two fragrances, but they're not completely the same. This O for Men, I can still appreciate a little bit of that lipsticky, waxy iris vibe. But comparing it with Prada Lom, Prada Lom has a safe, soapy, clean type of iris. This O for Men, lipsticky, so, sort of a lipsticky type of iris. This Prada Lom, a very clean, soapy iris. You can distinguish the differences between these two fragrances right off the bat. But they smell, they are at the same ballpark in terms of the scent. Not 100% identical, but they are at the same ballpark. Unfortunately, this O for Men is already discontinued. So if you're having a hard time acquiring this O for Men, guys, by all means, grab this Prada Lom. They complement each other. They somehow smell the same. They are at the same ballpark. So that's it, guys. This is my unboxing video of these fragrances that I bought in this quarantine period. I hope you enjoyed guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Fragrance Rx, and hit the notification bell down below. Again, this is Wesa for the channel Fragrance Rx, your fragrance doctor. See you in the next video. Have a nice day and stay fragrant!